Hello and welcome back to The Doctor's Garage here on YouTube. So I've been wanting to make this video for about three years since owning my Defender and the day is finally here. I have a brand new delivery. It's the biggest upgrade. It's the most expensive upgrade. It's the thing I've been waiting to do for my Defender for so long now and it's finally here. This is my Defender 90 and this is the biggest upgrade I've done to it so far. say since I got my Defender I've been looking at um, seats from Lucari and finally the day has come when I've got them they got delivered today so let's take a look and I'll show you what I've gone for for my Keswick Green 90. Look at that I think that'll be perfect when you're driving along to put your arm on top of. Very nice. Wait to have on the back there. Yeah really pleased with that that looks amazing so much nicer than what I've got at the moment so that's the cubby. A few of the bits I've got with the, um, the cubby pack ready for the seats. I've got the bolts for the runners here, which is great. And then also wires as well as on there. And I did go for the seats I've got here, which you're gonna see in a minute. I went for the ones that um, have a heated seat element in them. And this is the aftermarket heated seat element, not the, um, the Land Rover one. These are them right here, and you can see the little switches. And these are a two stage heater, basically. So you can probably see just, just on there two-stage heater and this is what Lucari provides so I'm not sure how I'm going to wire that up yet but this looks very exciting. So now let's move on to the main event. They look so good already so as you probably imagined they're going to match the cubby so we can get one of these seats out. The they look. So I went for the Corbo low base uh, Lucari with heated seats and um, built into them. So this is what um, I've gone for and already, and we'll get this the packaging off this. If you follow this channel, you'll know it's been a long, long time coming that I've wanted um, these seats, and particularly these seats to fit my uh, Defender, because I think this colorway just works so well with um, the green, and particularly Kesa green too. And I'm not disappointed. Nice, so, so nice. Just the quality of them. And I always knew Lucari did Kind of the best in business when it comes to interior trim and uh, I'm definitely not disappointed with these. They feel amazing, feel really good. It's a very, very exciting day to be getting these fitted to my 90. And then the second one that is in here, really well packaged from uh, Lucari. Got to do the all important test. Oh, so good. Definitely really holds you in place, which is just what you want. A race bucket seat in your Defender. Perfect. Be suited. Oh, look at that. That goes back quite well. That is good. All we've got to do is take the old seats out. I'm going to clean up the inside as well because whenever you take your seats out, you find loads of stuff has fallen down. So get all that sorted out. Might put a little bit more carpeting as well. Some of those areas that are still a bit bare. Sliding coat, whatever I can see. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. <laughs> Just a quick note to get the seats off. So my XMO trim seats have a removable base, you can see there. And that's very good because you can get underneath and get to the battery or the ECU or whatever you might want to get to. My new Lucari seats do not have that, but you can add that option as a tip up base. Um, it's a little bit extra to do that. I'm just going to put the normal one in and unscrew it if I ever need to get under the seat for whatever reason. What I will say is getting these seats on and off the rails. So these are the original rails underneath. And on top of that, you can see this frame that is uh, the Exmoor trim frame, which is the old seats we clipped onto. Now, what these are, these little Allen key heads are so, so tight. I imagine they've been Loctited at some point because you just you cannot move them without the help of a pole to give you a bit more leverage. So on there as well, very difficult to get off. And these are the Exmoor trim seats I'm gonna be getting rid of. Um, they're okay, they've done a job. They're just nothing like the, the new seats I've got in terms of quality and the way they're built. I love my new Lucari seats. I'm very excited to see them in here. And then also having a look at the cubby as well, this is the pretty dreadful cubby that I've currently got, which isn't even screwed down. And I'll be replacing that as well today. This is a little bit of bare metal here, putting a bit of carpet down, just tidying it up really before I put those new seats in. Now I've done also my Maasai rear bits as well that you saw in the last video. It's all coming together quite well. So we're gonna be getting all these off, getting this frame off and going from there.
my front seats now taken out. I've left the front rails in. This one wasn't even bolted down, which is nice and safe. Anyway, these two are now in, which is good. So just gonna get all this sorted out, stick that bit of carpet down there, get a little bit more on the back of the bulkhead, just to tidy it up a little bit in here before installing all those new bits. Just carpeted that back of the bulkhead there, which looks much, much better. It just makes it a bit nicer for my new seats coming in. So done all that, got rid of where it was all, the silent coat underneath it, just covering it up with a bit of four-way stretch van carpet. I'll put the link for the product in the description below this video if you want to buy some of the same stuff to do yourself. So definitely getting there with things. Got all that carpeting done now on my bulkhead, which looks a lot neater than it did before. Now I'm looking at the wiring because I've bought the Kari heated seats and I went for the aftermarket one. This is the system they've put in. They've stitched these into their seats. And so I'm just working out the wiring before I put the seats in. And this is where I've got to with it. So you've got two plugs, one here and one here, which go into the seat. It's kind of ready to go, just plug and play. And then you've got these two little switches with the two um, heat stages on there and there. And then at this side, you've got the side that needs to be connected to the earth and the positive, which will go down into the battery box underneath the passenger seat. Now I'm thinking where to put these switches. They're very neat little switches. They're not the factory ones. You can opt from Lucari to get the factory ones too and put them on the dash, for example. I wasn't really that bothered about that, to be honest. And I heard that the aftermarket ones are much hotter and much quicker to work. So I think I'm going to put these in my cubby. So on my new Lucari cubby, I'm going to try and put these switches into where the cup holders go. And I think that would be really neat just to have them right there next to where you're sat. So that's the plan. I'm going to get all the wiring sorted out and just get the plugs ready to go before then putting the seats in. Because I think that'll just be a lot easier. And as you can probably see, I've cleaned all through my Defender ready for the new additions. Very, very exciting. Uh, indeed so let's get going with the electricity get all that plugged in and wired up like it should be i might do a quick test before then sort of securing the wires and uh, let's go from there getting the heated seats wired up i've got this kit which many uh, amazon or ebay finds that i collect really good got the parts in that i need to be able to put this into the positive lead i have always thought about getting a fuse box in my defender like an accessory fuse box i do have one mounted inside of there It'd be quite neat to do that, but um, haven't got around to it. Maybe a winter job. So what we're doing is putting these little endpoints on there and then putting them straight onto the positive and it'll all work great. And then I've got to get the negative as well, which I think is on here too. And that'll be getting my heated seats wired up. So quite excited to see them working and if they do work, and then I will give them a test with one of my seats, which is sitting there at the moment in the back of my Defender. So I've got my positive wired up there, ready to go onto the battery. Obviously the negative and the little fuse needs to go on. But then what you have to do is get these wires, this one, and there's a black one as well that goes to the passenger seat to come out through. And I want these to go to here, to the cubby, where I'm going to put these little switches in the front of, I hope. And to do that, what I'm going to do is actually put a little hole in this sheet here. So this sheet's just got a bit of silent coat on it. This is kind of the, um, the floor, I guess, or roof of the battery box. Now, what I've done is put a very small hole in there, just put a little um, rubber grommet in, as you can see, to make quite a neat job of that. And that is what I'm going to be passing the wires through because I want the wires to emerge just under the carpet in that corner, pass very neatly through there, and I'm just going to work all round through the back of there, which you won't be able to see. Um, to do that as well, another random kit that I've got. Anything I buy is always in my videos. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, like I am, these random little bits that you might want to help work on your Defender, then you can always check the description below. So done that now, I'm going to pass the wires through and hopefully it'll all get itself in a position that works for me quite well. So that wiring is all in now and you'll see on these switches, if turn them on, that's the turbo mode and then single green light for normal. So that is both switches done. Now the hardest part, and probably the most, probably one of the bits I'm most scared about is now putting these switches in to my brand new cubby. So going to be putting them into where the cup holders are, I think. So I've got to drill a perfect hole in the perfect place and put each one either side. So the cup holders are held down by two little screws in the bottom. I'm taking them out now. So this just lifts straight out. And you can see there the, uh, the build. The quality of the Lucari stuff is just amazing. I'm really, really impressed with how well it's been finished it's a real real high attention to detail from what i've seen so far on all the gear so this is that little flat piece that i was thinking of putting those switches into which does look quite good that's the plastic we're going to have to kind of drill into so i'm going to work that out now so i've measured it out and that's what we're getting that's the two center points i need to do to be able to get the switches the right distance apart and where i think looks about right so that's the first hole drilled it's a small one to start with just to get where we're going but that looks good went well but going to make that a bit bigger now to see how we get on. Do the other one first and then 
yeah, a bit nervous about this, to be honest. So I'm very pleased to say with that drill, I've managed to do it. And they've actually come out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. They look quite factory, I think. So when they're in there, just a neat solution to have driver and passenger. They both, they, all the switches um, work. They're very tight, very snug. So I just drilled a small hole and they slowly got bigger and bigger with it until they fitted. So yeah, really pleased with that. Got to wire that up now and get that all sorted. Going to run the underneath wires, I think, through here in some way. But yeah, pleased with that. I think that's going to be a really nice nice solution because the switches won't fit on my dash uh, and I've gone for this aftermarket system. I've now got the two sets of wires back through so they go in and then out of this little hole I've just made in the bottom which I'm going to put the switches onto and then put that back on top. That is all wired up now and we're going to put this back together. Pretty much all back together now and the best bit is these still work, which is great to see. So that's that done. Wires I'm going to hide all underneath there when I'm finished. The next, I guess, is to get that in place and have a look at uh, sorting the seats out. So with the cubby box all sorted, it's now time to think about the seats. So we're going to put in the driving seat in, something I'm very excited about doing to see how it fits and how it looks. Um, I've obviously moved the cubby box away because you need to get to all these screw points, so easier to get under it from that side. One bit of advice would be do not screw anything down like your cubby until all the seats are in place because you do need to get under and between, particularly all the wiring and things you're going to need to do. So could you put in the seat in now? That is my seat, it's not in proper yet, it's still a bit loose, you need to tighten it up, but it's in place and I think it looks absolutely amazing. I think it suits the car so well uh, with the Kenzie Green, so let's see what it's like sat in the car. That is amazing, how fine all the steering wheel is it? That's absolutely perfect. So pleased with how it looks, a bit rocky still, um, but it's so good and I've got the bolt head cut back as well, so I can go. So pleased with that. Looks so, so good. So we're going to carry on, tighten this up, then let's work on that cubby. Well, I might be able to see actually, and then work on the cubby. I've got to say, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Feel so comfortable to sit in. So much firmer than my other ones, but kind of firm, supportive. Feel a lot higher quality and they just look amazing. I think the Keswick green and the, the tan really works, kind of what I wanted the, the look to be like. So really pleased with that. Got to sort this wiring mess out now. And I've got this funny bit of carpet here, which has always been loose um, in the front. And I've got to work out what I'm going to do with that to be able to get it all sorted out and get it kind of just looking a bit neater, really, to put the cubby back in. seats all fitted and I've got to say I'm really pleased with how they look how they feel to drive and literally everything about them I'm really really pleased with these Lucari seats now I don't have a discount code for you this time unfortunately and I know the Lucari seats are expensive as are all the parts they do but I've got to admit I really really feel that they are worth it let me show you a quick tour around them uh, just in a fisheye mode so I can show you kind of how they fit in with the car and how they look against the Keswick Green too so as you can see with the green and the tan, I think that really looks really, really nice. Um, so inside, fit really well in the car, look really cool, really comfortable to sit in. My heated seat works um, and it heats up pretty quickly. I've got those two stages as well um, on, my, uh, on my setup. Hope you found that video interesting. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn your notifications on and go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I still have some more upgrades coming for my Defender 90. We're going to be working on some of the more interior stuff, maybe the audio system, the rear of the car now needs a little bit of a sort out. So there's still some things to do. And last but not least, some further engine upgrades and maybe an exhaust upgrade coming very soon. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I've been in your world. I'm not afraid to